I sure hope you enjoyed your Saturday. Wasn't it gorgeous? Nice evening, refreshing air, and it's going to be even more comfortable on into our Sunday. Actually, take a look at your Sunday morning low temperatures. We're going to dip down into the 50s and 60s, some of the coolest air we've seen in quite some time, and that's going to feel just amazing if you have outdoor plans. So get you out the door Sunday morning. We start off in the 50s and 60s, comfortable air, and a nice lunch hour as well, topping out at about 79 degrees by noon. So Great morning for after church brunch on some of the outdoor patios, enjoying the outdoors, getting activities done or chores done around the house. This weather is amazing. So we'll be in the upper 70s, low, mid, and maybe a few upper 80s to low 90s across the Southern Valley. But the Cumberland Plateau will definitely be the most comfortable. And once again, we'll shave down that heat stress. So that's why it's going to be make for a perfect weekend or perfect Sunday, I should say, to get outside and enjoy. Your Sunday evening, as we wrap up the weekend, we'll see those temperatures in the upper 70s by 8 o'clock, low 70s by 10 as we head off to bed. Getting into our Monday and Tuesday, we're going to see those temperatures back into those seasonal averages, and the air is still going to be on the drier side. So this dry air is moving in from the north, thanks to this frontal boundary that's shifted off to our south and southeast. High pressure is building on in. That's going to leave us with abundant sunshine, quiet, and dry conditions. But as we get into the middle and latter part of the week, not only do our dew points start to climb so that we're adding more moisture to the atmosphere, that's going to lead to a little bit more elevated rain chances Thursday, Friday, maybe into the weekend as well. Uh, but our temperatures will stay relatively average. So when you look at our rainfall forecast from the uh, Weather Prediction Center all the way through Monday, we're rain-free, likely to stay mostly rain-free all the way through Wednesday. But Thursday, Friday, here comes that next disturbance, and it could pile up. So we could see upwards of about an inch of rain by the end of next week, and that's going to come through uh, basically Thursday and Friday. As I mentioned, temperatures are going to stay pretty average for this time of the year, upper 80s. Heat index values will start to creep back in thanks to those dew points by the end of the week. That's adding more moisture, so it is going to feel a little bit on the toastier side Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But generally speaking, we're talking about the possibility of about average weather all the way through the middle and latter part of the month. So don't forget to check in with your latest weather forecast each and every day. It's easy to do so. It's right there at your fingertips if you download the East Tennessee Weather app. It's a free app download from your app store. Just search East TN Weather, all one word. Have a great rest of your night. We'll see you back here on Sunday morning.